So in the previous session, if you haven't watched, do watch the last video itself because these two videos are linked together. I talk about how we are fish and how we are trading against the big boys, the sharks, who are the banks, who are the big trading institutions, who have huge influx of money, which are able to move the market. So if we don't trade with them, then we are trading against them. And that is also very likely the case where we will be washed on shore and then they will be out in the deep sea having the meal of their time and then we will be out on the shore starving all day long. So let me give you an example of kind of how the market works, right? So for example, let's say um, this is the, the rejection area, for example. The market goes up with bars, right? And then it hits the high, it dips down a little bit, and then it goes back up. So what is the market trying to do? The market is trying to break up, isn't it? Yeah, the market is trying to break up. So what would traders do? Typically, the way to trade that we all probably already know is they will go for a buy, perhaps right here. They go for a buy here, right? They'll go for a buy here. Some will place an instant entry, some will play a pending order. Maybe some will play a little bit safe, they, they enter around slightly higher. So it's like a zone of buying areas. Okay? So yes indeed, the market did go up and it triggers the buy, it triggers all the buy. So fantastic, if you, are, if you entered here, you will be already in the trade you end, and the market has gone up a little, a little bit, which is nice. And then if you enter here, you are, your trip has also been triggered. So as the market goes up, right, here's what the big guys may do. They will look at the market and they, what they may do is right at this area, they will go for their, the big guy will go for their, the big guy will go for their sell. Yeah, they will go for itself. So the market will probably come down. Now, as it comes down, all these guys over here, all the fishers, will probably place a stop loss around here, around here, around here. So the market will come down and wipe out all the losses. Yeah, the market will come down and wipe out all the buy order, stop losses, and that's where you get all stopped. So, as the market comes down as well, traders who are looking at this will probably be looking to go for a sell around here, around here, around here. Because it just looks like, hey, this is probably a, a what? A fake key. It's a false breakout. And likely the market is going down, it's going for a sell. So, everybody starts selling here. Sell, sell, sell. And then what happens again? What happens again? The market, once it comes down here, the big guys, the big guys have sold over here. As the market comes down over here, what they will do is, they will close their trade, take their profit, and exit the trade. So what happens? The market will then have a rebound back upwards. And then those guys who bought got stop up. Those guys who who sell as the market rebounds back up, they all get stop up as well. Is this scenario? Does this scenario seems familiar? Does it happen a lot of the time? Yes, it does. So this is where a lot of traders get out, and they could get out. They could not only lose one trade, as the market comes down, they go for sale, they could essentially lose two trades. That's where we are all screwed. That's where we are all screwed. So, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? If we can't fight the big boy, because here's the thing, here's the thing, there will be times, and in fact good times, 
where the market, the, the exact reason why a lot of traders buy here, why? Is because it works a lot of times, not all the time, good times, good times, the market, people buy here, the market continue its way upwards. Without any manipulation, without any uh, news, the market goes nicely and buys and then goes up, people get their profit. But there will be times like this, and pretty often, where the market goes up and then the big guy comes in, it triggers this movement that we have talked about. So that's where the small fishes like us get wiped out. The big guy like here get all the money. Because this market is about buyers and sellers. When we buy here, somebody got to sell, right? So when we sell here, somebody got to buy. So this is where the exchange of hands comes in. And you don't want to be exchanging hands with the big guy. You don't want to be exchanging hands with the big guy. When the big guy comes in, what should we do? It's best to step out of the way. So what we can do is that we will kind of wait for the whole movement to run it off. This is one possible way. One possible way is that we can wait for the whole move movement to run it off. When the big guys are done with their work, when it eventually forms the angle of uncertainty. This is now this zone and this zone is the area of uncertainty. And this zone and this zone is in fact where the, where the big boys sell and where the big boys go out. Yeah. So that is the reason why there is this zone over here. So what should we do is we will resume its way once it's gone somewhere over here. When the market resumes its direction, that's where once it crosses this area, this could be the area for us to go in when the market resumes its condition. This is a strategy. Go and test it out. Go and test it out. It is one of the, I would say, one of the strategy that works a lot of times. Go and backtest it, go and check it out. This is a powerful strategy where we are trading and we are go not trading against the big boy. We want to get the big boy out of the way and this is one of the ways to do it. Of course, there are many other ways to do it. This is one of the ways to do it. So if you are wondering right now, why you got stop up here? Why you got stop up here when you go for a buy here, you go for a sell here? This could be the reason. The market is screwed. The market is manipulated. But that doesn't mean at all that you can't make money in the market. You can. If you do it with the big boys. Yes. So I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Do leave a comment below and let me know what you think. And you'll be really awesome if you hit the thumbs up button. So I release new videos like this every Monday. And if you enjoyed it, do click on the subscribe button so that you'll be instantly notified once I release a new episode. See you on the next video.